Hey guys, it's your pal Victor here, and I'm here to talk to you about this documentary that is hitting theaters this weekend. It is called The Lost Leonardo, and I will talk about that right now. Fifteen Leonardo's known. To say I have found a picture like this is just so far-fetched. You're just going to look like a fool. This is the most improbable story that has ever happened in the art market. It's not even a good painting. All right, guys. So I just saw this uh, documentary. It's called The Lost Leonardo. And it is about this painting that was filmed several years ago. It's called The Salvatore Mundi. And basically people, uh, you know, have had controversy because a lot of people claim that this is a lost Leonardo da Vinci masterpiece that shows like Jesus Christ is the savior of the world, which is what Salvatore Mundi means, savior of the world. And it traces the story of this painting from when it was found in like New Orleans and someone bought it for like a thousand bucks. And then uh, somehow it made its way to be seen by one of the leading art scholars at the National Gallery uh, and his wife, um, who ended up restoring the painting over five years and staged uh, some showings to some of the world's leading Leonardo da Vinci episodes to show them the painting and say, hey, dude, we think this is a lost Leonardo da Vinci painting. And it was kind of a consensus that it was. And then it was put on display in the National Gallery, you know, and a lot of people took issue with that saying, this, this, there's no real proof, you know, that this is a Leonardo da Vinci painting. I mean, there's stuff there that's indicative of the period and whatnot. Um, and, you know, uh, the people who ended up buying the painting, uh, they they uh, tried to sell it to museums and all these other institutions who couldn't afford to take it because the people who owned it believed it was worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And then somehow it we traced the path of the painting as it makes its way through the hands of like shady art dealers, uh, Russian oligarchs, uh, to its ultimate fate where it's now uh, owned by uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salam, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, who when it was supposed to be shown at the 500th anniversary of Leonardo da Vinci's death, a retrospective in the Louvre with every other Da Vinci piece in existence. It was pulled at the last minute um, and it's believed to be in Abu Dhabi somewhere. Um, people haven't seen it since 2018, but the whole point of the movie isn't these facts of things we already know. It's how people use artwork to lev the act of owning this artwork and the legitimacy and history and visceral power it has to lend legitimacy to shady businesses, um, shady affairs of state, and shady leadership. And uh, it's illustrated really impeccably. And it's true how uh, artwork, uh, especially like stuff by the masters, uh, basically is treated as a commodity, not as a piece of art. It's usually only seen by the very few, the elite, and people who are able to wield money can create something out of possibly nothing. The way you see it in like, um, for example, Exit Through the Gift Shop, the Banksy documentary about Mr. Brainwash sort of makes the same point. If you can convince people that something has uh, a value inherent of itself, and you can dictate that, then you have power over people with money, you have power over elites. And here is the same thing where uh, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia buys a painting for half a billion dollars and is trying to establish its legitimacy to lend legitimacy to his actions as a ruler, as a cultural figure, and, you know, sort of create a wealth of uh, uh, a cultural treasure out of something that might have just been uh, a rarity that he that was found in uh, in an old uh, thrift shop in New Orleans for a thousand dollars, and how that uh, painted over painting found in the U.S. in New Orleans ended up 
being worth a thousand dollars from that from being worth a thousand dollars to half a billion dollars just because people said it was and because enough people said something had it had a huge cultural value someone from another part of the world trying to lend uh uh, international credibility to their dubious actions as a figurehead uh, bought it just to try to legitimize himself and that's really interesting so if you want to see a story like that you should check out the lost leonardo it opens in theaters uh this weekend uh and it's really good i highly recommend it um you'll get a lot of perspectives on the value the inherent value of things and how a lot of it is what people believe things to be worth. So if you enjoyed my thoughts on this, please check out my channel. Please subscribe, like the, hit the bell icon and more reviews on the way. Thanks guys.